Okay, so here we go. The very first baby step on the Fly Lady system is shining your sink. Now, one thing she always says is just clear your sink, put everything to one side and then shine your sink. I want to do my dishes first. Ah. So, we're going to actually wash the dishes. Let me just show you what I've got over here. So I'm going to get all this side cleared. I'm just going to swap the video view a minute. Give me two seconds. Oh, my camera turned off. I think I can see that the way this is going to go, it's going to just end up turning off every five seconds or so. Slightly annoying. Might have to adjust my settings or something. Right, as I was saying, it's all well and good if you've got a dishwasher, because you can just put everything in the dishwasher. I don't have a dishwasher, so I don't know what, what she's expecting me to do with all this stuff. Let me see. That's going to close itself any second now. So I'm doing this, and I'm thinking, I have no idea how Diane in Denmark does it without it just switching off. She must have some really good video editing software. I have no idea even how to edit a video. That's something else I've got to learn to do today. Before I've discovered down in Denmark, I'd never even managed to get through all the baby steps. But the only thing that annoys me about Diane in Denmark is her house is immaculate. And it's all well and good, but it does make you think, well, you had an easy starting point. In the first place, you didn't have very far to go. And I know she says that she's a fly baby and she wasn't organised and blah, blah, blah. But it's really difficult to believe when you're watching her videos and her house is immaculate. It's one of the reasons I'm doing this. So you can see that we don't all have immaculate houses. Hello? Chicken. Is a chicken? Go and get the chicken. Wave to the camera on your way past. Right. So they're put, dried and put away. So pop this under the cupboard. Under the cupboard? Under the sink. Just going to get rid of the stuff that's in the sink already. And then we'll get a nice fresh sink full of water. I'm sure some of you actually you have the camera? Yeah. I'm sure some of you um do it properly and rinse your dishes and all that. But oh that's a bit greasy, let's get rid of that. It's not just plastic, it's just a bit um tend to get a bit greasy if you so it's really weird. Uh, I have to admit, I'm not a rinser. I will sometimes, you know, but I'm a bit scutty, I don't know. I'm sure I'm going to have comments going, you've got to rinse. Right, okay, so I've washed all the dishes up that were on the side, so I'm just going to swap cameras, show you where we're at, okay? So there we are, there's my nice clean, clean side. So what I'm going to do, that's a bit gunky in there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate this to you, um, what I do on every Saturday when I clean my chickens out, because I don't have a separate sink, I just have this one sink here. And it's a little bit unhygienic to be cleaning out all my pet balls and what have you in this thing. So what I do every Saturday after I've done that is I give it a really good scrub and sterilise down. So my very first thing I do is I fill the kettle. It's going to be interesting one-handed. Pop that onto boil. And then I'm going to clean out all this gunk from here. Just bear with me. Well, just going to take all this gunk, get rid of it. I'll come back to when I've got rid of that. Okay, so I can now tell I'm not technologically minded because I thought I'd recorded this and I blatantly hadn't. So, I'm starting again. Right, so the first thing I actually do um, on a Saturday when I'm cleaning my chickens out is that I actually wash my drainer and my you know, cutlery drainer in the sink of hot soapy water before I even touch any animal stuff, get that all cleaned down. 
I'm not doing that today because I've actually obviously done that on Saturday. I'm just demonstrating it to you now. My sink's already clean because I've already done this once. Um, so I get some, this is soda crystals in here. You could use bicarb of soda, whatever. I, Fly Lady has you filling your sink with uh, hot bleachy water. You'll fill your sink right, right up to the top of, fill your sink right up to the top of your sink with hot water. Add half a cup of bleach. Leave it for an hour. Rinse it, use some more chemicals, rinse it again, do something else to it, and rinse it again. A, life's too short, and B, it's really not very eco ecological, is it? It's not very environmentally friendly. So I'm just using some um, soda crystals I've just sprinkled on there. I get my spray. Now I make my own spray with um, vodka, apple cider vinegar, um, some Bio-D um, sanitising um, liquid. And some essential oils and water but obviously whatever you have you don't need to do that but whatever you have is fine so just give it a quick spritz down get rid of that under my sink get my cloth i'm going to use my my, my scrubby cloth there that i uh, make out of garden twine I'm just going to give that little rinse down all the way around. It's really difficult doing this one handed, you know, really difficult. I should probably have one of the children um, videoing this, it would be much easier. Let's say you know what teenagers are like. That, you know, get this little eco pan scrubby that I have out of, of Amazon just to do this bit here give it a, a bit of a clean in there because it gets gets a bit gunky give that a quick rinse before I put it away then obviously give the give the sink a rinse it doesn't take much to rinse this off because as I say it is only Soda crystals and my homemade spray. Now, I don't do this every day. I just do this once a week. It's a great way of shining your sink for the first time. You know, if you're not doing that very first step. Because it does leave the sink really lovely and clean. Or, as I say, if you were like me, having millions of animals and you only have that one sink and you need to clean the sink after after you've done your animals right i boiled the kettle earlier so what i'm going to do now is just give that a quick Quick sluice with boiling water just to kill any germs. Give this a wipe down on the back. So I have already done this once, thought I was recording, blatantly wasn't. Uh, what I do on a day to day basis is after I've done my evening dishes, or one of my children's done the evening dishes because I make them have a turn of doing the dishes because why should I do it all? Is I get my spray. Spray it all. Ooh, let's do. Let's pretend I've got the spray in my hand. Where's that gone? Give it a spray. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Spray it all down, and then I use that day's tea towel just to buff it all up. Obviously, I wouldn't normally have my drainer on here while I'm doing this. And on a Saturday, to be fair, I wouldn't do it like this after I'd done. I'd just leave it to evaporate off with the um, with the boiling water because it's a bit pointless doing that, scalding it all down to get rid of the germs and then using my tea towel. Kind of defeats the object really. But uh, yes, as I say, on a day-to-day -day basis, get my spray, get that day's tea towel, buff it all down with that, get my, then I get myself a nice clean tea, to um, tea towel put out over my uh, tea towel holder there. Nice clean dish cloth. If I just put my uh, little bits and bobs back here, that would be grand. 
There we are, pop those back there. Pop that away under the sink, which I'm not going to show. Actually, I will show you. Let's, we'll be being honest, aren't we? Look at the set of that. Just put that there for a second. A bit embarrassing, really, but the whole point of this little exercise is I have accountability, and if any, it helps anyone, as I said earlier, fantastic. But there you go. That's my uh, nice, shiny sink. That is day one on the Fly Lady Baby Steps. See you tomorrow. Okay, so I said that I don't do that thing with the boiling water and the soda crystals, etc, 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 every day. So this is what I do that, that night after I've done all my evening dishes. Okay? Okay, so here's my bottle of spray. It's a recycled Ecover bottle. I don't actually use Ecover anymore, but the, the bottle came in handy for reusing. Let's give everything a bit of a spray. Take, obviously taking all the gunk from washing the dishes out. My tea towel from earlier and just leave that a polish down. Move the plug. Just wipe it round. My eldest does my head in when he does dishes for me because this bit he never puts back there. He always puts it on the side there. Don't know why. It lives there because unless I'm actually washing the dishes. Now, how many times I have to tell him? Give that a dry at the back and at the side. There we are. All shiny. Put things back. I've already put a clean tea towel out. Let's pop my gloves there for in the morning. And a clean dishcloth. Let's wipe the side down here. Just put this away. Try not to uh, throw everything around like I did earlier. Let's give this a quick dry. Into the washing machine with that. And ta-da! There's my shiny sink. And it's really nice to have that area in your kitchen. That is, oh, there's my tomatoes from earlier. That area in, in your kitchen that's nice and clean and tidy. Because even if the rest of your kitchen looks like this, you've got this area here. And I can't promise that I do it every night, but I do try to, or get the kids to do it. So, like I say, just this one area makes you smile. See you tomorrow.